I've been rattling around one of the most important verses in the entirety of the Bible. It'll be really familiar to almost everyone. John chapter 14, verse 6. Jesus answers, by the way, he's answering doubting Thomas here, who's just raised a bunch of questions about not really understanding everything that Jesus has been talking about. And, and Jesus makes it real clear, real quick. Jesus answers doubting Thomas, and he said, guys, I am what? The way and the truth and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through me. And you notice Jesus doesn't say, I am a way. Jesus doesn't say, I'm one of many ways. He says, I am the way because he's the one who takes us there. I heard one guy say it like this. If you go visit a city you've never been to before and you don't know how to get around, imagine you go and you visit that city before Google Maps, before Apple Maps, before, remember that thing called MapQuest when you would sit at your home PC and you would MapQuest two addresses and then you would print the MapQuest out and then take the map. Remember all that? This is before any of that stuff. How would you get around? You would ask someone for directions, right? You say, hey, how do I get? And they say, well, you go down the street and you go to the first stoplight, I think. Maybe this, yeah, it's the first stoplight and you turn right and then you go three, I think it's three blocks. You take a left and there's a Starbucks on the corner and you're like, wait, wait, there's a Starbucks on every corner, right? And you hear all that, that's a mess. You're lost already. If you don't get those directions perfectly right, you're off the map. But imagine that person who you ask directions of saying, you know what, it's really complicated. I'll just take you there. So now they're not just giving you directions and sort of pointing to the way. They're not just telling you the way. What are they doing? They're showing you the way. Maybe you've heard of this person, this mythical figure, this cartoon character, Dora the Explorer. Ever heard of Dora the Explorer? Our, our little kids grew up on Dora on VHS tape. Remember those things in the VCR? And we wore the VHS tapes out playing Dora the Explorer. I know all the songs. And Dora is this explorer. She has this backpack. And every explorer in their backpack has a, a what? A, a map, right? And so Dora the Explorer has this map. And the map on Dora the Explorer has a song. And do you... Do you know how the song goes? I'm the map, 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 he says. I know it's silly, but here's the thing. Jesus, in John chapter 14, verse 6, says, I am the map. Jesus says, I'm the way. I'll take you where you want to go. I'll take you to my father's house. I'll take you to heaven because you can't just get there by following instructions. But I can get you there, Jesus says. The way to life God's way right here, right now, the way to life eternal with God in heaven someday is to stay attached to him, to believe in him, to trust him, to follow him, to order your whole life and world around him and he, Jesus, will take you there. Uh, hey, thanks so much for tuning in to Refuel today. What you may not know is this, this thing goes all over the world, okay? It's a really cool outreach we have. You can help us a ton with that. You can actually subscribe by hitting the button down below. You can hit like, and that helps the word get out. Uh, we're thrilled by what God is doing with this encouragement to people every day. And the other thing is this, um, we are open weekends. Nothing can be as transformational as making sure you are worshiping a living God with the people of God. So go ahead and hit those buttons and then we'll see you this weekend. God bless. Have a great day.